Hey everyone, Josh Smith. I'm with Gotti Mobile. I have Savannah Peterson with Savvy Millennial. Very excited to be here, everyone. Cheers. We're in a special vehicle. This is the Nissan E-Force. This is a test car that they showed off in October 2019. And now we're in 2020 for CES, where they just showed off the Nissan Aria, their concept EV vehicle of the future. This is currently based on kind of a Leaf type setup, the Leaf E Plus. So you've seen the Leaf E Plus on the road. The Aria is just sitting in the showroom right now. Yeah. But from what we've heard, basically pull the Leaf out of this, throw that Aria in, and this is what's going to be driving that. It's pretty sweet. It's an interesting new platform. And so we had a chance to take this out on the test course. We're gonna have some footage that will show what we've been doing because it's not a typical commute that we've done. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> so we did fast acceleration. This is much faster than the Leaf E Plus. I just spent a week in the Leaf E Plus over Christmas. So I'm very familiar with how that feels. This felt very different. Mm -hmm. And then we did back to back. So you were in the back seat. Yeah. And in the Leaf, when we were accelerating, was it like pretty jarring? It was intense. Uh, yeah. uh, I'll be honest. There was a lot of a lot of movement, and in particularly when we were doing the slalom, there's a lot of back and forth with yeah. the pitch. You really got to know the person next to you. Oh, we both had things that. literally fly across the car into each other's laps. Yeah. We had a very experienced pro driver taking us on the slalom part, so that may have had a little something to do with it. <laughs> but and then what was really great on that slalom in this. We didn't feel, you still, you still feel because you're moving in physics, you're gonna move around, but you don't feel it quite as much and it's much more pronounced in the back seat. Way more. So if you have, you know, if you get car sick or even just on longer rides, the, the pitch of the vehicle can really impact the ride quality and it can make a car feel smaller in my experience if the back seat Same. isn't Same, and we're tall people. I, yeah. I was thinking about that a lot. Uh, yes. I, I was mentioning that I get a little car sick sometimes in the back seat because of that mm -hmm. motion. Windy roads, live on Highway 1 in California, and that's how it is. And I've, I appreciated how much more grounded and sturdy I felt in the yeah. back in this in this vehicle. Yeah. Also convenient that it's all-wheel drive, and if we're going to be you know, raging through the mountains yeah. or, or doing something a little more adventurous, I think that stability will also play a really important role. Yeah, it's something a lot of people, I feel really focus on, oh, an electric vehicle, it's just a commuter. Mm -hmm. But this one had speed in the acceleration course, it's fun. Yeah. It's sporty on the slalom course, and you actually felt in control thanks to that twin motor design. And then the other part, we're on this path and we're doing 40 kilometers down to 20, back up to 40. And I'll put some video up on the screen right now so you can see, but in the current Leaf E+, Plus, you really feel it, and that's with any car because of the way the braking is happening just with front it's brakes. It's that kind of seesaw back and forth motion yeah. that you get. And so in stop and go traffic, it really adds up. And then in this, because we have the dual motors and each of these wheels has a brake, you don't feel that quite as much. You'll be able to see in those side-by-side -side videos how much you're leaning back and forth when we're doing that acceleration, deceleration, and side to side on the slalom course. It was a significant difference. That yeah. was actually, and and you know, most of us drive in traffic or you end up in it, and nobody likes this motion yeah. anytime. And especially if you're over here in the passenger seat because you can't do any kind of, yeah. you, you don't know it's coming. Right. And, right. and then we finished on a wet course, which is pretty fun because we got to test the handling versus the Leaf Plus and the way that these wheels are all working and braking, it really reminded me of time in the GTR, which has a really fancy all wheel drive. Interesting. And it uses a lot of that technology. I and mean, this is different tech, but yeah. similar benefits of that all wheel drive. And with the independent braking that we're getting in this, it is, yeah. you felt way more in control when that was turned on. It's yeah, it's it's interesting too because our, you as driver in this experience, me as mm -hmm. passenger, I trust you as a driver, of course, mm -hmm. for better or worse. <laughs> but <laughs> but I think that there was I didn't feel out of control, and we're deliberately trying to make the vehicle feel out of control. Right. 
So the, yeah. <laughs> and we're supervised professionals. There's no one that we could have hurt had this gotten <laughs> Only wild. Cones. Only cones and, and a few egos. But I, I, I did find that really, it, it was compelling and I felt safe, which is nice. Yeah. So, I mean, kind of wrapping up, we got to test out some tech that is pretty exclusive. This isn't in a production vehicle right now, but that Aria concept that we just looked at, it's over on the show floor. It looks really cool, really nice lines, and it's, you know, it's a futuristic vehicle, but that's what you should expect this tech to go into, not the next Leaf E+. This is, this is future tech, but it's coming soon. And from what we've heard, that's what this is what's going to power that area concept. And then, you know, whether it'll look exactly the same, who knows? You know, they always mm -hmm. kind of tone down concepts a little bit. But with electric concepts, they seem to be a little bit more adventurous. Yeah. And Nissan does have that heritage of some really cool vehicles, the GTR. Mm -hmm. um, so. Not and it has, I mean, the Aria has a, a future forward body style, but I wouldn't say that it's too over the top in terms right. of its styling. The yeah. line, I think it's actually a nice looking vehicle. And this E-Force platform, I think will be really interesting for Nissan moving forward and, and what else they build into this legacy of the Yeah, and platform. they've committed to um, a lot of different electrification goals. I don't remember the exact yeah. numbers, but this is clearly Nissan saying this is where this is going. Mm -hmm. And so it'll be interesting to see and to drive what this becomes in a vehicle that we can actually purchase. Also, that is the right side of the vehicle. This is a test car, right-hand drive. So that was also kind of fun to drive in. Very fun. Well, some of us do work in all the different countries, so I'm always going oh. back and forth. So this was actually... You are familiar. I've only driven a few right-hand drive I've vehicles. only... But I've never driven right-hand drive in America which was uh, kind of fun. Yeah. So I'm, I'm glad that we were here for this. I'm also happy, and I realize this is taking you a little bit higher level, but it's so nice to hear these companies commit to electric and to know that, that this is the direction we're going and the platform that they're yeah. building for their future and in existing showpieces right now here even at CES. So it was yeah. refreshing. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us. We'll have some links down in the description below so you can check out more of Savannah's work and more about this vehicle and that Aria concept. Leave us a comment, let us know, you know, what excites you most about this? Is it the Aria? Is it that E-Force tech? Is it not getting motion sick? You know, what's what's most exciting about this car? Yeah, and when you're driving around too, what do you notice? You know, what? Ever since we've been talking a lot about this pitching, share with us in the comments what it's like for you when this fighter jet, there's actually been fighter jets here the whole time, which has been pretty fun. We have, yeah. uh, we have police chase exercise going on at the same speedway. We've got fighter jets flying overhead and we're driving concept cars. Yeah. It's basically the best part about CES. <laughs> that's crazy. Couldn't make it up if we yeah. tried on the fighter jets. That's really, <laughs> that's a thing. That's a thing. Yep. <clears throat> and let us know, uh, let us know what, what other cars of Nissan's you'd like to see this platform used in, in the future. Yeah. Maybe we can report back and yeah. who knows? They're, they seem to be listening over the fighter jets. So, <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Cheers.